that's what happened at Grandmasters. I uh, got top 8. I finished 4-3 in the Swiss, what made me top 8. And then I finished uh, third in my group after top 8, what gave me the 5th, 6th place. What makes me uh, getting 4 points in the first round of Swiss. Not too bad. Not too good. Just a solid start. So happy i mean i wish i will do better but looking at my decks i am very happy because i think my decks were not that good I don't really want to use early swipe here guys because it ruins your combo so not that amazing ay 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 there we go boom 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 This is how we do it. Thijs, you played well with your decks. Yeah, I was really happy with my play. I made, I made one big misplay in the Druid Mirror against Blizzus, but overall, I think I played really, really good. I don't know why, how I even won against Bunny Hopper at game five, where he had double giants already on five with an Thunder Scalling, and I still grinded my way back. Not the good ones. Ramp. This will, be good. this will be good. Is this the real ties? Yes, I am the real ties. Ties, how does Grandmasters work with the points and all? Um, we are playing the first three weeks Swiss format. Every week you can get points, and the top eight in points points will go in the winner group so that's what we are playing for we try to collect as many points in the first three weeks and the top eight goes in the winner group and that's where you want to be in that's where you can get your world championship spot for example Oi, oi, oi. This will be good. It's kind of annoying. I don't want to use my moon fire there. Guys, will there be again a week with blocking the four best decks? No, we are playing week one conquest. That was this week. Now we're gonna play last hero standing. And afterwards, I think we are gonna play. Um, what was it called? The one deck format where you can uh, have sideboard. Specialist. Taking for the bombs, huh? Well, I ain't the bomber, bro. Okay, the thing is, you have to be a little careful with your petto in this matchup. Because if he has the Stealer, it's not going to end well. My dream is your so Yepeto gives me one mana melee, one mana Alex. The best play we can do to play around that is not playing him. But Thais, then you draw 9 mana melee. Yes, and that's fine. Because you just win. You still have a 30 damage combo, but you play around Elusia. Or you go for Forest Warden. Copy it, then play your petto, then play both minions, then play another spell, and then you go off with the melee that way. But in this matchup, you can just play around it. Just don't play it, lol. Wow, ooze and sticky finger, huh? Make 
creature speaks to us. Let's get some portals. Listen. That's a very little one. But now, for example, guys, what can he do? He literally can't steal my melee. Because if he switches the hand, it's still 9 mana. And he only has 8 mana after playing the legendary. I mean, he can still just swipe all the things away. Actually, you can play only really poorly around it. It's actually pretty mad, because he just swipes and moon fires your deck away, right? My dragons are hiding at the bottom. Ow. That's a big problem, guys. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. In time, you too will bloom. I guess I shouldn't have done it. Oh my god. So I think I just want to get, if we do this and we play Keltas, this kills, but it resummons with Spellburst, right? Let's test. To control life, we must wield the power of you And now we go Cabal's Shadow Priest to get melee. He can't do anything about it, right? He can not do anything. He's gonna go Alex or skin. Time goes short. This is good. Your wish is my suggestion. Let me change your mind. He can't kill. He can't uh, take my melee. He can steal it with madness, but he can't do anything with it. Yeah, I was looking for the way to get the melee back there with the Sephirs. So his hand is uh, Cobalt Spellkin, Alex, and Shadow Madness. But Shadow Madness just doesn't do anything here. I think we just win now. Time is running out. Try. Okay. Four, eight, eleven, sixteen, twenty, twenty four, twenty five, right? Nine, twelve. The forest fights back. Hunter out. I keep a uh, Gidra, I think, against Hunter. All the hunters are kind of smart. And even the Highlander variants are like more smart than normal. Guys, would you say this Druid deck is better than Gala Priest? I think so. Matchup against uh, the Priest is not that great necessarily, but still good. Hey guys, how do you play your Warlock Galakron versus Aggro? Don't tap too much. It's like the biggest, most important thing. Don't use your tap too much. I might just play this turn too. We have this turn five. Guys, it's been a while. What's up, everybody? Hello there, Mr. Sarcastic. Okay, and yeah, now we definitely do this. Oh, oh, pass. Don't like hitting here. This just blocks all his pressure for now. 
Everyone does that with the four months in a row. Thijs, what would you say is the best Warlock deck to run right now on ladder? Comment deck and then uh, pick the Warlock I played in GM. It was doing really good for me. The Druid matchup sucks, but the rest is all good. It's all uh, either fine or good. I guess we have a uh, pressure plate and a freezing there, guys. No hitting is the best here. I mean, if he doesn't trade, he's not going phase. If he doesn't go phase, I'm happy. Ta -ta -ta -dum, ta -da -da -dum. Do it here, be the hero, take the freezing. LOL! I mean, I know it's pressure play, so I'm just gonna hit first and then we play the overgrowth bock beam play. No need to do it now. That should upgrade, probably. This is fine, hopefully. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, now we can just overgrowth safely, though. Steady shot. So we know it is pressure play, but kind of sucks. why hunter wasn't in gm i think a lot of people didn't really feel comfortable with hunter or like knowing what to go for with hunter highlander hunter just going something but a lot of other decks just gained more Trace that I'm not too sad with the weapon because then the weapon is gone. This is fine. You'll find me whatever the action is. Huh. Ah, this is not so fine. Okay, we know this is pressure plate. So if I Alex myself here and I trade this. I do really like this. this sorry, sorry, Desert Hair, you had to get sacrificed. I think it's better like this, because that one life matters a lot. Plays a lot, a lot of more different ranges. I definitely always overflow next turn, so. I mean, why would I not use the innervate like that? It makes my whole turn more flexibility. I can draw so much now. Let's see, we always do this. The draws are very I I I though. <gasps> healing, 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 healing. Mom. Mom! So Yepeto gives me 66% of the time the forest, but I don't have a cheap. Yeah, I have to. Ah, oh, but Breath of Dreams doesn't work. 3 5. 
So I'm gonna draw a forest and Ysira, but I can't activate the forest, so we can't do it. Then we always do this, right? So now the play is, next turn we Yepeto, we get the forest, we open a mana crystal, and we have 10 mana again. And then we go for the spike plays, I guess. 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, oh my god. Stop! I'm thinking if Ysir is even good for us, guys, to play. In time, you too will it's kind of arguable that it's even good. Life and hope. I mean, I have a germination. Kind of trying to draw that. Germination. More towns. 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 Germination. No germination chat. I got swag. Kill me with your shadow shot, steady shot, Hunter. I know it's your best feeling. I will give him the honor of the steady shot. Winning against everything, but zero two against Hunter. Oh, one two. Blah.